Hi, Tracy here from Shape Up with Tracy. So this week we're going to talk about when should you start your new diet? Well, the answer is really simple, right now. Not tomorrow, not after the holidays, not our next week. Start right now because you never know what is right around the corner. You need your body in tip-top shape all the time. Um, a few years ago, a close family member took really, really ill, um, very suddenly, and because they were in really, really good shape physically, they were able to do the, take on the treatment that they needed to take on and made a really swift recovery. Now, if that person had not been healthy and in a good shape of mind and a good body space and a healthy body, that outcome may have been a much longer process and may not have been so successful. We don't know what is right around the corner, so there is no excuse for not starting your diet right now. So what do you need to do? You need to decide what plan you're gonna use. Now, it might be that you're gonna stick with you know, cutting things down, cutting things out that you know that you shouldn't be having on a regular basis. If you're drinking a liter of Coke a day, let's cut that out. There's some really simple things that are common sense that you don't really need to be told when you're starting a diet. For some people, they like to follow a specific plan. That's absolutely fine. There are lots of really, really good diet plans out there on the market. So get one, but follow it to the letter. That's really, really important. But make sure that the plan is a healthy plan and it's really, really high in nutrition. Because if it's a plan where you just eat lettuce and cucumber, well, that's gonna be great. You're gonna lose lots of weight, but your nutritional value is really low. So that's really, really important. Second thing you need to do then, jump on the scales, write down your goal, write your weight today, write down your goal weight, and then decide how often you're gonna weigh yourself. For me, it works really well for me to weigh myself every single day if I'm having to push to lose some weight. However, some people find that that's too much. For me, that keeps me really on track. So whatever works for you, and you'll know that already. So do that. So, so far we've got make a plan, start now, weigh yourself in, and then just get going. Plan ahead and you can do it. If there are things that are obstructing you from being able to lose weight, so I know for some people, things have happened in their past that have stopped them being able to lose weight, they're getting in their way, then spend some time with yourself and decide what's really, really important for you. A lot of weight loss is between the two ears, up here in this part of your brain. That's where most of the problem is. The problem isn't further down. If you stop, if your brain stops yourself, you'd be fine. So if there are things happening for you, then sit down, spend some time with yourself. There's lots of good resources online. If you need to go and speak to your GP or a counselor, then do it. Look after your body. It's the only one you're gonna have. You're not gonna be given another one and you really don't want to have to be in a situation where you have to have major surgery or anything because you haven't looked after yourself. And a lot of cases of people in hospital are actually conditions where long-term their body has been abused effectively. So start your diet today, no excuses, just do it.